It's your boy High Five Vega here, and I'm back with part two of the One Out Shootout. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, subscribe, comment, do all that type of stuff. Okay, so I've got everything cut down into six inch lengths. Now, they all kind of look different lengths because they're curled up, which and what way, but I took them on this, straightened them out the best I could. I've got them at six inch lengths. We're on to the measurements. I'm also gonna be using millimeters just because it's easier for me to use. It's what I use at work, just so you know. All right, so this one in particular, I gotta be careful on some of these because the jacket is a squishy material. So I'm just gonna try to get as accurate a measurement as I can. I'm gonna call it 16.8 millimeter. So we're gonna go ahead and write down jail audio one not This one's a much sturdier jacket, so I don't have to really be too worried about this one. All right, looks like we got 16.6 millimeter on this one. All right, we have up next the Phoenix Gold. Okay, we're at 14.5 millimeter. Now we're going with the Raptor. 14.7 millimeter. Looks like we got the Rockford Fosgate. 15.7 millimeter. You know, a lot of this car audio wire is what they consider oversized compared to the American wire gauge standard. You know, speaking of welding cable, and you know, maybe in this test we can see, you know, what kind of truth there is to that. And if it's more copper, it just means more jacket, flexibility, whatever. I mean, that's what we're trying to figure out here. Yeah, about 14.6. We're not even gonna round up on that. I'm just gonna go ahead and consider that 14.6 millimeter. We're on to the Stinger, 17.1 millimeter. All right, let's see how this old school hooker cable stacks up here, 16.6. You know, back in the day, I wouldn't probably even label these OFC because there wasn't very much copper clad aluminum out there in the car audio world that I was aware of anyways. You know, almost everything was uh, OFC, so that's something newer when I got back into the game that I, I really started to notice. 15.6 millimeter. Okay, so up next, we're gonna strip these off one by one. I'm gonna cut the cable, being as careful as I can. I'm gonna slid it down and try to remove the jacket without interrupting any of these copper wires in the inside. Then we will measure the diameter of the jacket itself, the diameter of the copper, and we will weigh the copper to see what you're getting in each one. The one test we will not be doing is running amperage through these just because that's a complicated setup and it would take much more time to do that for me. And I think by knowing how much copper is in there, truly how much copper is in there, we can get a good idea of how, how that would handle that anyways. Okay, so what we've got set up here is our scale to actually measure the copper that's inside. And, you know, while we're at, we might as well measure the weight of the jacket too. But before we start, I figured let's weigh them as a whole and see, you know, what we get versus each other. So for a six inch length of the two aught, it weighs 112.7 grams. That is the welding cable. You know, I don't know if you could see that on there, but I'll try to hold the cards up so you can see them. Okay, so we got 83 grams. So that's a eye opening there. Uh, who knows? Maybe this jacket is super light material. Probably not though. Uh, let's go on to the Stinger, which would be this right here. 88 grams even. Oh, I forgot to lift the card up. Sorry, you could probably hear my, hear my propane heater running out of fuel there. Uh, I forgot to show you the hooker audio, which was 83 grams. So let's go with the one out welding cable. 87.7 grams. All right, now on to the Rockford Fosgate, 93.1 grams. Raptor, let's see what it's got on it. Okay, 60.7 grams, and half that's probably the jacket. 
Phoenix Gold, 81.9 grams. Now I'm riding on this side. This is the measurements before they were separated. On this side, I'll write the measurements once they are separated. We're on to the JL Audio. Let's see, 89.7 grams. Last but certainly not least, again, is the Sky High. Whoa, 105.7 grams. Okay, that one's got some copper in it. All right, now on to the fun part. We're gonna cut these open one by one in the reverse order. We'll measure the jacket for itself separately. Yeah, let's, let's cut them open and see where we're at. Okay, I've got the sky high cut and I didn't think about this beforehand, but uh, I figured I should mention how easy or hard it is to cut each jacket. And this one was easy, as you can see. Uh, I had to take a couple of passes, but just cause I didn't want to cut the wire, damage the wire. But yeah, this was very easy to cut and extremely easy to separate once I did. Now, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing can be up to you. 2.9 millimeter. Let's see what just the jacket weighs. 21.4 grams, 84.3, and guess what? The math checks out, guys. The math checks out. Okay, so I've got the gel separated, and uh, this case was very easy to cut. It was a little tougher to get it separated because the inside didn't, you know, it's not that flexible to open up, so, but I did get it separated. 4.1 millimeter, we're gonna call it. Now for the important part, let's weigh the jacket. We have 25.4 grams. Now let's weigh the copper here. 59.4 grams. Okay, I've got the Phoenix Gold separated and the case was, actually this one was a little tougher to cut and uh, a little more trouble with that so that may be better in your car you know rubbing up against stuff is a little tougher but once i did it was flexible enough to easily pull out the wire let's measure the jacket thickness 2.9 millimeter let's measure the jacket 20.7 grams now let's measure the copper 57.6 grams We're on to the Raptor. I've got it already separated. Now this one, it was very tough to cut the jacket. And you can probably tell because the jacket is very thick. It was very hard to get the copper outside of the jacket. And if you're worried about some kind of engine heat or something, yeah, this is probably the stuff for you. If you wanna draw some current through it, I'd probably say no. Although we're gonna reserve judgments to the end after we measured everything. 3.6 millimeter on the jacket. Now the copper itself, this is a very small amount of copper. I mean, this is four gauge at best. The jacket weighs 25.1 grams. The copper weighs 35.3 grams. Okay, we're on to the Rockford Fosgate. Now this jacket, it wasn't bad to cut off, but this being one of the oldest pieces in here besides the hooker wire, it, uh, it was kind of crusty getting it out of here. As you can see, there's oxidation starting to build, even though this is the tin type of wire that I said didn't oxidize as much. So maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, or maybe this is just old, who knows? Three millimeter, 20.5 grams for the jacket, 72.4 grams for the copper. Now we're on to the one out welding cable and the jacket was very easy to cut. And something that's different about this uh, welding cable is there's sort of a paper material in here. And I've noticed this before when I've cut it open. And uh, actually I need to do a little research what, what that's for and what, what it actually is. But anyways, 
it was easy to cut and easy to extract the copper out of. So let's see what kind of sidewall thickness we have here. 2.54 millimeters. The jacket weighs 19.6 grams and the copper weighs 68.4 grams. Okay, the Stinger jacket was pretty easy to cut. It was actually a little tougher to get the wire outside of there. It seemed like it wanted to stick to the ribbing inside of here, which is probably very good. Let's go ahead and measure it and see where we're at. Sidewall thickness, 2.88 millimeters. And let's see what we have for the copper, 64.6. Now, let's see what we have with the jacket, 23.6 grams. We've got the Hooker Audio one knot jacket cut. Uh, jacket cut pretty easily, and it's separated fairly easily. You can tell this, this is pretty old cable, so 3.3. Or let's call it three millimeters. Okay, let's see what this jacket weighs. 20.5. Let's see, most importantly, what the copper weighs. 62.4 grams. Okay, last but not least, the two watt welding cable. Just like the other jacket was easy to cut and the wire was very easy to separate, same paper material in there, 2.3 millimeter. Now let's see what this copper weighs, 92.7 grams. Let's see what the jacket weighs, 20 grams even. Okay, so let's go over how it all ended up. Once we weighed all the copper, we weighed the jacket. I went up and looked up the cost for everything I could find. I couldn't find, obviously, because the Raptor's old, the hooker's old, doesn't have a current cost, and I couldn't find a uh, price for the Phoenix Gold one not. So everything else I've got prices for, and it's the price of the cheapest I could find, whether you had to buy it in bulk or not. So starting off with number one, and I rated these by the amount of copper they have in them on this first one. Two watt welding cable, 92.7 grams of copper and a 20 gram jacket. The cost of it was $3.49 a foot. The Sky High, one opt had 84.3 grams of copper and a 21.4 gram jacket. The cost of it is $3.69 a foot. The Rockford Fosgate was third in the weight and it jumps down quite a bit from here. We're at 72.4 grams for the copper, 20.5 grams for the jacket, and the cost of it is $4.58 a foot. The number four place was the one op welding cable. We're down to 68.4 grams of copper. The jacket is 19.6 grams, and the cost of it is $2.79 a foot. The Stinger, we go down to 64.6 grams of copper. 23.6 grams is the jacket, and that's a uh, pretty hefty price tag of $5.52 a foot, and that's by in bulk, remember. Sixth place, the hooker had hooker audio had 62.4 grams of copper and a 20.5 gram jacket. No price on that. The JL audio only had 59.4 grams of copper and 25.4 grams was what the jacket weighed. Now the cheapest I could find this was ten dollars a foot. It may be cheaper, but I'm I'm sure that it's not cheaper than some of these top ones. The Phoenix Gold only had 57.6 grams of copper and had a 20.7 gram jacket. No price on that that I could find. And last, certainly least, the Raptor only had 35.3 grams of copper and a 25.1 gram jacket. So the Raptor is, it's just laughable. At this point, you're talking about four gauge, probably somewhere in that range. I had heard that one out or a one out welding cable was smaller than the average car audio cable and that happens to be true in only a couple of cases of the ones i've tested now i haven't tested new concepts uh, there's uh, jy power there's a few other of the big names you know uh, that i hadn't got to 
but I hope to do so in the future. And then we can compare them head to head, do the same thing. The overall winners, in my opinion, and I'm going value to the amount of copper that's in there. And they go like this to me in this order. Two watt welding cable, it's only 349 a foot. Sky high coming in number two at 369 a foot. And then the one out welding cable comes in number three at 279 a foot. And the Rockford Fosgate comes in at four. You really have to uh, consider what you're buying here. If you're using wire just for the name, you know, you may be doing it for the wrong reasons. Some of the ones that really stick out to me is this JL Audio Wire. You've only got 59.4 grams of copper in there. Two watt welding cable is not double, but it's, it's significantly more. The Sky High is significantly more. The uh, Rockford Fosgate, you know, it's more. Even the one out welding cable is more. The Phoenix Gold, you know, it, it's down towards the bottom as well. And even the Stinger, you know, Stinger is about the middle of the pack, but it has almost the highest price outside of the JL Audio. So we already went over the flexibility and that type of stuff. And a lot of these are comparable. Now, you guys seen the one out or the two out welding cable is not flexible at all. So if that's a consideration, definitely go with Sky High or consider the one out welding cable, which is going to put you within a range of, of the uh, highest end of copper. That's about all I have for this video. Thanks for those of you who took the time to watch it. And the next video, we'll be testing the jacket. So, you know, we, we won't be picking winners from there. So you basically got your winners here. We'll be testing the jacket, you know, seeing how durable they are. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and be on the lookout for the third video. Quick shout out to all my Patreon supporters, but a special shout out goes to Gene Nava, who's our newest member. Also, Jason Rose. Joaquin Juarez and Rick Quattlebaum. For as little as $2 a month, you can join the team and check out some exclusive content that's not available on YouTube. Oh, oh.